Welcome back to another MLB video and in this video things are heating up going into the season but we have some rumors as far as contracts go one with the Padres and one with the Dodgers so two NL West rivals and starting things off with the Padres it's going to be about AJ Preller as he is just not stopping at all as there's been some reports that came out today that the Padres are now looking to extend Juan Soto and Josh Hader two guys that they got at last year's trade deadline they have different contract situations Josh Josh Hader is going to hit free agency after this season. Juan Soto still has two years left on his contract going into this season as well. So who knows what time they're going to get these contracts done. I wouldn't be surprised if Juan Soto is going to wait around a little bit because he could have an MVP caliber year this year. And maybe it was a little bit of a down year for Juan Soto terms this past year and get himself even more money. And as far as Josh Hader, he did have his struggles midseason, especially when he got traded to San Diego, but then he really turned it on. So if he's able to part that postseason success into yet another dominant regular season this year then he could be the next closer that's asking for a hundred plus million you saw Edwin Diaz had that massive season last year he got rewarded with a hundred million yes that was by Steve Cohen but AJ Preller as far as spending money hasn't been too far off so Josh Hader could be looking for six figures as a reliever which would definitely be huge for him it would match Edwin Diaz then for Juan Soto he could be looking upwards of 400 million maybe up to 500 million we'll see what goes on with that Shohei Otani is going to be a free agent so we'll see if the Padres wait to see if they could pursue him as well but it's just crazy they've already got guys in the bullpen talking about hater like Robert Suarez that they've signed they extended you Darvish through his age 42 season obviously Manny Machado Fernando Tatis and Xander Bogarts will all be playing in San Diego for the next decade or at least under contract with them let me know what you guys think Juan Soto and Josh Hader could be the next priorities for AJ Preller and the Padres Padres. As I mentioned, another player the Padres and AJ Preller will be very, very interested in and probably going to offer him upwards of half a billion is Shohei Otani. But a team that's in their division that I talked about, the Dodgers, could possibly be desperate for Shohei Otani. They might pull out all the stops and do whatever it takes to get Shohei Otani. This year was an unconventional season or offseason for the Dodgers. They didn't sign that big name guy or make a big name trade. In fact, they just let some of them go. Their pitching staff, they lost Heaney and Anderson. They replaced it with a guy like Noah Syndergaard who they're trying to get back to form. As far as offensively, they signed Jason Hayward and traded for Miguel Rojas, but those aren't any huge names that they got, especially based on the fact that they lost Trey Turner in free agency to the Phillies. So they cut payroll significantly, and that could be meaning that they're going to be targeting Shohei Otani, and I think that definitely plays a part in it, as they're going to try to give him a massive contract. There's even a chance that they try to trade for him at the deadline if he somehow is available so they can get a head start on that extent engine just like they did with Mookie Betts and the Red Sox because they're not usually signing guys for these big contracts. Freddie Freeman's really their own huge contract that they got in free agency. They're just used to trading for guys and extending them but Shohei Otani could be an exception for that. He's the best player in baseball hands down. In 2021 his MVP season he had 46 homers went 9-2 with a 3-1-8 ERA on the mound. He also had 100 RBIs and 965 OPS. The next season last season 34 homers 95 ribbies 8 75 OPS and 15 and 9 on the mound with a 2-3-3 ERA so he could be a top 5 MVP candidate for his skills at DH but then also his pitching on the mound he could be a Cy Young contender so Shohei Otani he has it all he's going to be pursued by many but the Dodgers could be desperate and according to John Heyman of the New York Post a lot of people around baseball believe that they are favorites for him and I tend to agree Shohei Otani wants to be in a winning environment he likes the West Coast we know that from when he was coming into the league and he was near down his options and eventually chose the Angels but I think that if he wants to stay in Los Angeles and go to a team that's going to be winning a lot the Dodgers as favorites make sense right now.